So today, uh, we had the big the big event. As you can see in the background, we're starting to clean it up finally. Thursday night, we moved in a whole bunch of stuff from around the college complex. Friday day to Friday night, we uh, got everything up and built for this morning. It started at 7 a.m. It's now 7 p.m. <laughs> and we're just getting started with cleanup. So long day, great day, a lot of smiles. Um, this event has had a lot of a lot of hiccups, a lot of planning. Uh, the building opened, I think, gosh, I checked like three, four weeks ago. So we had we had an entire hypothetical event all built on paper, and then we walked into the building. So we've had budget here, budget this, a whole bunch of changes. Uh, meanwhile, we kept the core to us. We want to provide an event unlike any other. Um, we did our best. We got tons of university interest. Um, I've got people from our club that helped volunteer. There were so many gracious clubs that were willing to help us out with our event. We had the full-on recruitment team for the College of Engineering showing off the brand new Cuban Hall building and all that. We had a whole bunch of great students from around the state, and we had the coaches and parents here to help us on out. So all together, a couple of tech issues, but we really caught our stride. Um, heck of an event to be proud of. I could be more proud of my people. Uh, and kind of one of the biggest parts of tonight was to help, A, not only engineering, but Lincoln itself bring students here and kind of get them a feel of the place, see maybe if they can actually see themselves here. And hosting this competition, they get to see something they love and literally devote their lives to when they're in high school, um, actually come to life at a college campus. I think one of the things that draws people to Cuit Hall at the, as part of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, as I walk the halls in here and I see the light and energy and the showcase on engineering and all the capabilities that we have to expose to that outer world. As I've just walked the halls watching this robotics competition, it's been fascinating to see uh, people's worlds cross as we have the large windows and it really is a vision to the outside world of all the talent that we're building right here and that is available to everyone around us in the heartland. Well, I, I think it, you know, it is very bright in here um, and unfortunately they don't get to see it when it's under its normal configuration where all of this venue is moved off to the side and all the furniture is put back. Uh, during the semester, that space is filled with students that interact with each other. And then there's a, a very large number of what they call huddle spaces, which is a, it's like a small room that's good for three or four people. And almost every one of those has been full every day if you come through in the afternoon. Uh, the space has been very, very positive. It's just, you know, a lot of the engineering in the past is the, the buildings have been the buildings are pretty full, so you end up with a lot of people in kind of dark corners. And this does not have dark corners. It's just an absolutely positive place to be. This is really the building for engineering. Like, there are so many uh, huge classrooms here. I mean, you're going to have this tournament anywhere else, really. I couldn't imagine that in like, the College of Business. Um, so definitely a lot of opportunities for students to actually, like, um, I don't know. I mean, there, there's so many opportunities for the library. And definitely now with this new building, it's just incredible. Uh, the Cuban building pro provides a great space for uh, engineering students at the University of Nebraska to work with one another, uh, work on uh, their club activities. Even with this uh, big collaborative space, work together in projects in a classroom environment. Um, I was really excited to see just a large tournament. Um, even from what I remember in high school, uh, this is a pretty large tournament. And um, also, I just wanted to see also the new space that uh, UNL has, has uh, put up since I had graduated. So um, it was really cool to walk around the new facilities. It was also cool to see all of the high school students that are here. And, they also got to tour, so that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like at the end of the day, if you're in engineering, you need to have those strong connections um, that the Cubit Center definitely offers. Uh, just walking in um, with like the UNL, like the UNL students here, um, we got off a pretty shaky start in the morning with the skills, but I find that the community that they've already established really helped them uh, go back on their feet for a regular competition. Um, basically, the role that I played is to really bring out communication between RSOs and uh, not specifically Hewitt, but the College of Engineering, some of that I've been in the background on. But 
mainly on the RSO side. Uh, we really uh, strive to get our volunteers here and to get the other clubs and sports supporting this event so that we can build greater connections between clubs to help support all the clubs throughout the university. Um, it's been a pretty good experience. It's a really nice facility, so it's nice having all this space to be able to go out and just do whatever you need to do. Having all these extra fields is very beneficial. Having skills fields that you can run six skills matches is really nice, saying that we've been to competitions where there's only one or two. It takes a long time to get through those skills. I just really like interacting with all the people here. I make a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends from O'Neill and uh, Pierce and Ravenna, all good guys, all good people to hang out with. I really just like it for the people. And this building is really nice. <laughs> it's just way nicer than any other place I've competed at. That's really nice glass doors, everything's fancy. The food's pretty good, the staff's very nice. Uh, I like the VEXU team from uh, UNL, they're very nice, they're very helpful. Yeah, it's, it's a really good time. This building is extremely nice. It's really the best place you've ever competed at.